Hey everyone, Aquaman here with Water Wisdom, sponsored by waterfilters.net. This product today is a membrane housing, part number MH091812WH. WH. Now this is an industry standard size membrane housing. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, just about all membranes, except for those unique proprietary membranes from certain brand name systems, almost all have gone to an industry standard size membrane. Which means if you have an older system and you're having trouble finding a replacement membrane, you can simply change the membrane housing and then buy an industry standard size membrane. Now let me show you what I mean by this. This is a TFM 50. It's a 50 gallon per day membrane. And it is a precise size that fits inside of this membrane housing. Over here I have a TFM 100. Now this is a 100 gallon per day membrane, but it's the exact same size and fits inside of the same filter housing and there are several others that will also fit inside of this membrane housing that are industry standard size. So, if you're having difficulty finding the correct membrane for your system, don't worry about it. Buy a new membrane housing. They're not that expensive. It's very easy to install. It's going to be just like what you have right now. One inlet on the one end and two outlets on the other end. One for good water and one for drain water and that's it. And then buy an industry standard membrane that you can get and replace very easily going forward because everybody's making them this size now. It's going to be decades before we see any changes. Now the one thing you need to concern yourself with is the flow restrictor on your system. Okay, now what is a flow restrictor? The two outlets on this end, one of them is a drain line that goes to the drain obviously. If there were not a flow restrictor on that water line, well, the water would just take the path of least resistance and all of it would go down the drain. None of it would push through the membrane by pressure and end up on the good water side. So every system, without exception, has a flow restrictor, or it's sometimes called a control valve, on the drain line that exits the membrane housing. So if you are changing your system, then you either need to use the existing flow restrictor in the new housing, or you need to purchase the appropriate one to go with your membrane. Now, there are two types of flow restrictors. There is the Quick Connect external variety, and this has quarter inch Quick Connect fittings on either end, and it's simply water line in, water line out, and the restrictor is built into this device. Then there are the capillary style flow restrictors. Pop one out of this little Ziploc baggie. They're very small. Maybe you can see it against that white backdrop there. It's just a small capillary. It's, it's like a little tube. And this installs inside the end of the water line that then attaches to this exit, to this outlet on this membrane housing. And obviously, not very much water can get through here. And so it's going to create pressure that's going to force water through the membrane so the water gets to the good side. But you need to match the gallon per day rating of your membrane with your flow restrictor. If you have a 50 gallon per day membrane, you need a 50 gallon per day flow restrictor. If you have a 100 gallon per day membrane, you need a 100 gallon per day flow restrictor. So if you're changing out your membrane housing, remember, to check into your flow restrictor, you either need to use the one you have and then buy the appropriate gallon per day rated membrane to match your existing flow restrictor or you need to buy a new one to match whatever new gallon per day rating membrane you purchase. So this is the MH091812WH membrane housing and it's an industry standard size and you can use this to replace your membrane if you're having trouble finding the appropriate replacement. And that happens a lot on older systems. I'm your host, Aquaman. And